Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's video, we are going to see IC phase shift oscillator implementation by using FET and transistor. So let's begin with the topic. We know that IC phase shift oscillators are basically used to produce a frequency having low frequency range that means audio frequency range and therefore they are also called as audio frequency oscillators. The basic principle behind IC phase shift network is that we know that amplifier when by using FET or BJT can provide amplification as well as it provides a phase shift of 180 degree between input and output. But in order to use circuit as an oscillator, we require total phase shift of 360 degree or 0 degree. Therefore, the additional phase shift is required to be provided by another network that is called as RC phase shift network. We know that RC phase shift network provides a total phase shift of 60 degree each. Therefore, if we connect three RC phase shift network, then it provides a phase shift of 180 degree. And if we connect this network in the feedback path, then the total phase shift around the loop becomes 360 degree, which is equivalent to zero degree also. This is one way of implementing RC phase shift network by using FET. Another way that can be used for achieving a phase shift of 360 degree is to use two stage amplifier in which the first stage provide phase shift of 180 degree and output of first stage is given as input to next stage and output of next stage that means second stage is applied to the input of first stage without any feedback network then the total phase shift become 360 degree but this type of oscillators are called as well bridge oscillators in this video we are going to concentrate only on rc phase shift network so in RC phase shift network, we use three capacitors of equal value and three resistors of equal value, which forms a circuit which consists of three RC phase shift network and provides a phase shift of 180 degree. Now, reason of using FET in this circuit is, in case of FET, we know that the input impedance is very high. So that will reduce its loading effect on the feedback circuit. When we use transistor, then in case of transistor, the low input resistance causes loading effect on RC phase shift network. Therefore, instead of using transistor, if we use FET, then the circuit provides more sustainable and more accurate output of frequency. Now let's see the circuit diagram first. In the circuit of RC phase shift network, FET is used. The method of biasing used here is a self bias method and the biasing is provided by using drain resistance RD and source resistance RS. The output is taken from drain terminal RD. The output of the FET is nothing but the amplified signal but having phase shift of 180 degree. This signal is applied to the gate of FET through a feedback network. As the signal is passes through a feedback network which consists of three RC network, therefore each network provides phase shift of 60 degree. Therefore the total phase shift between input and output, that means the total phase shift around the loop is 0 degree or 360 degree. This satisfied the condition of oscillation that is nothing but Barkusen's criteria. Now in case of this circuit, the gain is given by a formula GM into RL, where GM is transconductance of FET and RL is nothing but drain resistance parallel to output resistance of FET that is small RD. Therefore, the value of RL becomes RD into RD divided by capital RD plus small RD. The ratio of feedback network that means the feedback fraction is nothing but 1 upon 29 that is called as beta. Therefore, the minimum gain required by the circuit to fulfill the oscillations are nothing but 1 by beta that is equal to 29. Therefore, a circuit must have a gain which is having value equal to or greater than 29. The frequency of oscillation of the circuit is given by the formula FO equals to 1 upon 2 pi CR into root 6. Now in this circuit, the value of frequency can be changed either by changing value of capacitors or by changing the value of resistors. But the value of resistors are usually kept constant whereas the value of capacitors are changed simultaneously. All the three capacitors are GAN capacitors. That means the value of all the three capacitors change at the same time. We don't have different values of capacitor value in the RC phase shift network. 
all the capacitor must have same value. So whenever we change the value of capacitor as it is inversely proportional to the frequency of oscillation, the frequency of oscillation is get increase or decrease. This is about the RC phase shift network using FET. But in case of transistor, if we use a voltage shunt feedback and if we use emitter for low configuration, then the loading effect on the RC phase shift network can be reduced. The working of circuit is remain same. That means the amplifier provides phase shift of 180 degree and RC phase shift network provides a phase shift of 180 degree. So the total phase shift becomes 360 degree and the feedback becomes positive feedback. So this is about the RC phase shift network using FET. I hope you understand this topic. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira. Subscribe Ikira. Thank you.